According to the Wall Street Journal, the percentage of economists who are predicting a recession to occur in the next 12 months is increasing every single day. So we all know the definition of a recession, which is two consecutive quarters where the gross domestic product is in a decline. So it's a negative number as opposed to a positive number. But with this talk of recession happening, maybe it's going on right now. What does this really mean to home values? Stay tuned. Okay, so here is a look at recession data as it relates to home values. And what you will see is that it is very clear that house values do not go down every single time there's a recession. So why are people panicking about the word recession and thinking, oh gosh, this is gonna be a housing crash. Well, I'll tell you, it's because we all learn from our most recent history. And as you can see by the chart over here in 2008, oh my gosh, that was the last recession we had other than 2020. And it was a tanking real estate market. But what you have to understand is it wasn't a recession first and then the house prices started to go down and the value started to go down. What happened was the home value started to go down because of foreclosures and short sales and things like that. And that caused the recession. So the recession didn't cause the prices to go down. The values going down caused the recession. But in this chart that you see over here, you can see in all the other one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, recessions that we had, only two of the six had negative house values, and the one in 1991 was just 1.9%. So that was a pretty stagnant house value thing. So just to reiterate, a recession does not mean house values are going to go down. What a recession does mean is interest rates eventually will start to go down to help build the economy back up. So in this chart that you get to see, you'll see in one, two, three, four, five, six recessions that we've had, in every single one of them, the mortgage rates went down. And the last three recessions that we had, so the first one was immediately following uh, September 11, 2001, then the housing crisis recession, which was 2008, and then the COVID recession that we had at the beginning of 2022, the rates went down another 1% or so. So it is believed that rates are probably gonna be around that five to 6% for the foreseeable future. But at some point, the interest rates on mortgages are going to start to come down. So keep that in mind watch my video about waiting to buy because it demonstrates to you that if you wait to buy, your interest rate might be higher, but values are gonna be higher as well. One caveat I wanna make sure you guys have is that if you wait for the interest rates to go down to buy, you probably are still going to be paying more in a monthly payment for your house than you would pay if you bought it now and then refinanced when the values went down. So my recommendation to buyers is this is the time. This is the time to buy your home. The values are not gonna go down. Pricing is going down and that's because people are being more realistic about what the value is. So check out my video, the difference between price and value. But buy your home now you'll get a good price on your home the value will go up over time and then when the rates go down refinance your house and you should have some equity in it ready to go and you can refinance it at the lower rate so the recession will eventually result in mortgage interest rates going down so please, if you're interested in purchasing a home in the Fredericksburg area, or you're looking at selling a home in the Fredericksburg, Virginia area, 
reach out to us. All of our links are in the description box below. If you're interested in just kind of learning more about what's happening in the market, download our free seller guides, our free buyer guides, our free first time home buyer guides. We put these together for you so you are armed with information and you can make the best decisions for you and your family. Thank you for tuning in and I'll see you next time.